Welcome back to Turtles Homestead. We are not on a homestead today. We are at one of my job sites and we're gonna do an accent wall back behind me. And there's gonna be a dartboard over here to the right. I'll show you around here in a little bit. But we have a bunch of uh, barn wood. And instead of doing something simple like horizontal planes, like that, or vertical, or which would be pretty easy just to go on a diagonal all the way across here. We're going to try to do a herringbone. With, we've got three different widths of boards here. And um, a bunch of different lengths. So I got a lot of math to do to figure out with, so we don't have a lot of waste. But that's what we're doing today and tomorrow and possibly the next day. And then uh, I've got to get started. So, let me show you real quick. Okay, so this is the game room, weight room. And Kathy come over here Saturday and helped me put the plywood on. Got it screwed off to the wall and painted it black. And the wall's about 12 foot by 9 foot. And we're going to be using some of this material. There's just some pieces I pulled out. Go around here. And that's our pile of lumber. So we're going to go through here. There's three different widths, and I got to separate everything into the widths and the lengths and see exactly what kind of pattern we're going to put here on this wall. Because we're going to do, they want kind of a herringbone. I don't know if it's a true herringbone because of some different size boards, but it'll look all right. Um, so I got to do some math, come in here and make some marks and we'll start putting that on the wall. And after I get it laid out and get a few boards on, I'll bring you back. All right, we got that. We got that. And I got to get started. I got to draw some lines, lay stuff out. And thanks for coming along. This one might be pretty fun. It's going to be fun for me. And, uh, I'll bring you back in a little bit after I do all my thinking and maybe get a few boards on or something. But, yep, here we go. Is this thing real? We don't buy it. It is. You're pretty. That thing looks like a starburst. I ain't gonna eat it though. We should probably put you back outside. You won't bite me, we. Let's put him outside. There you go. There you go, little buddy. That's your best chance. See you later. Bye bye. Okay, these are all separated lengths, widths. What we're going to do, the herringbone pattern. Gonna do about two foot pieces where everything kind of won't be a lot of waste. And it'll look kind of like that, but up there. <music> a couple hours to put that in two and seven eighths off the wall to that point two and seven eighths off the wall to that top point everything spaced out good the dark board will be right over here and probably centered on that little thing right well right there nice we're getting there Peace for the day. <clears throat> Anybody know what time it is? Could you guess? Time to go home. Go 
little hint. Show you what we did. It's looking pretty good. All, all day long, right there. I don't know if I'll finish tomorrow or not. I would get close, but I like it. Let's go home. We're gonna call it a day. Thanks for watching so far, and uh, we'll see y'all in the morning. Yeah, in the morning. Good morning, we're back, day two. Working nine to five, what a way to make a living. Do, 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 do. Let's get this wall done today. Ah, I don't need these. Pencil, tape measure. Here we go. But here's a T one of the TV cabinets I made. It was supposed to recess in the wall a little further, but there just so happened to be a plumbing pipe in there, but still recessed in the wall about three inches. So that was fun. Still got to touch up paint and finish when I get done with this wall. And then in there is the other cabinet. That's an eight foot TV, 96 inches on a diagonal. So then when you're back in here, Uh, those cabinets there were like 22 inches and some change. I can't remember if these were 15 or 16, but perspectively, eight foot, whatever that eight foot TV and the width of those cabinets in perspective to the TV and the cabinet size, I directly took that ratio and made the size of this TV that same ratio to those cabinets. So perspectively, it looks the same. It's kind of hard to tell, but see here and here, even though it's a farther distance, it just looks right to the eye. Okay, we're doing pretty good. I got, got it done all the way up to the ceiling. Two or three more rows down here on the bottom. They're the short rows. And the time right over here is next to the cookies. So, what do you think? Do you like it? I think it's gonna look good. And just so you know, I took my time and laid all this out. And we have six feet from cabinet over here to the uh, pool table. The dark board's gonna go right over here. I don't know if you can see me. And right in the center of this line will be the dark board. Everything kind of looks right. It looks silly if you put the dartboard in an odd spot, I think. But anyhow, take a look at it. Tell me what you think. I, I like it. That's a lot of pieces, my goodness. Now, where are we at? I think we ought to go a big one. I think I need another small, small and then big. No, then there would be a pattern. We want to go big and then small. Yeah, sure. We got enough. Got enough to do one more round of big ones. Here we go. Oh boy. 
Which one go first? All right. We're almost done with the wall. Got it done a little quicker than I thought we would today. We got a lot of cleaning up to do. Three twenty-five. I must say it looks pretty good. I'm liking it. Top's done. I'll have to touch up that piece of trim tomorrow. I'll paint this wall over here to the left tomorrow. I got a, ooh, a little bit of lumber left, not a lot. Put that in the garage, clean up. And uh probably hang the dartboard for them. And we'll see, see what time it is. Let me spin you around. This looks really, really sharp, actually. Then, originally I was gonna put that piece of base that I took off the wall that matched that. But I just decided to run that on down. That looks pretty good. I think it looks better without a piece of base than it would with that color coming all the way across. So I made sure to make them cuts nice and snug. And there we go. Note to self, I need an, a box extension. Bring that tomorrow. Nice. All right, dartboard, and then the pool cue holder over there. Cool. Let's clean this up. I like it. Actually, yeah. There we go. All right. Thanks for coming along. Double in, double out, or you ain't playing darts, is what I say. Coming right along. Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe give somebody an idea. Pretty simple stuff, just a lot of cuts. A little bit of thinking and a whole lot of doing. Oh, I need to, tomorrow I need a piece of trim for right there. Dead battery. <clears throat> just in time. Let's go home. I think we got some garlic to go pick. Ta-da! It's done. Still gotta find the exact location. I gotta get with the homeowners on the scoreboard for the darts. I just got it taped up to the wall. And the pool cue, I gotta get a couple more connectors to hold them shorter pool cues in. But uh, looks good, it's all done. TV wall is done, fresh coat of paint. And uh, sound bars in and extra cables and stuff. We'll let the homeowner do that. So that's it. Pretty sharp, actually. It's one of them things that probably looks pretty good on camera, but uh, to see it all in perspective in person, it's a look good. Good choice of lumber. All right. I'm out of here. We'll see you. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Or something. Or not. See you down the road. Hey, little buddy. Slap your wings for me. Oh, you're pretty. <laughs>